Hey y'all, it's time for a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday, and I've got a beer for you today that I found down there in the World Market. Um, and it's a Japanese beer. It's called Asahi Super Dry. This looks interesting. I've seen this down there before, and this is the first time I've gotten it. Now, it does not have, I couldn't find the alcohol content on it anywhere. It's got a bunch of little bitty writing on it. My eyes are bad. And it's really aggravating when they don't have the alcohol content. I don't like it. But anyway, this is 12 fluid ounces. I had to look up the alcohol content on, online. And man, I'm telling you what, it's kind of hard to find. It was a little, I went to the website and the website was very, very sparse. It didn't have much on there. It had the nutritional information. And I thought I might find it there. It wasn't in there. Finally, I just had to ask Google, hey, what's the alcohol content of this dadgum beer? And it was a little bit confusing. It put down two or three different things. You know, it, so I'm taking it that the alcohol content of Asahi Super Dry is five to 5.2%. That's what I got right in that range there. One said five, one said 5.2, so whatever. Anyway, all right. So this thing has got, it looks like it's arrows on the top of it, like it's a twist top. I'm gonna try and see. It is. It's a twist top. All right. A hot Asahi Super Dry from the Asahi Breweries Limited. And of course, this is made out of uh, barley malt, yeast, hops, and rice. And uh, anyway, so it talks about this having a having a, a, a super clean finish, nice and crisp. So we'll put some head on it there. And I tell you what, it is beautiful and clear, nice and bright. Bubbles floating up through there. Love to see those bubbles. Look at them. Oh, I love that. It's beautiful. All right, now. Smells like a pilsner. Nice crisp, crisp smell too. Just a clean, clean smell to it. And I don't mean clean like soap. It just, it just smells really. I don't know how to describe it exactly. But anyway, Asahi Super Dry Japanese beer. I've been wanting to try this for a while. I've seen it down there and. You know, I'm, I'm kind of my budget's kind of limited, so when I go down there, sometimes I think there's so many friggin' beers, y'all, and and you can make your own six pack. But the, you know, the beers run anywhere from you know two dollars to three fifty or whatever in that six pack because you, you can get different ones, so it can get expensive pretty quick. So anyway, I finally broke down and got it, and you know it's beautiful. It's a man. The bubbles are still. Still floating up through there. Y'all see them bubbles? I love that, man. When they, they just continuously. All right, so let me see what that. And I couldn't. Even, I kind of let the head dissipate. I couldn't get any, any taste of the head. But you see, it don't have the. It don't really have the lace in a lot of others beers have but I don't know what that has to do with the, the way they're brewed uh, the, the ingredients or what um, some beers will have a thick head that clings and have that lacing around your mug other beers kind of like now domestic beers regular domestic Budweiser they wouldn't even have any head on it at all by now and no lacing nothing like that this one's head's kind of it's almost gone but anyway this a uh, uh, and the bubbles are still floating up through there, man. Dead gum. It's just a beautiful, bright gold beer. Pretty bubbles still floating up through there. Anyway, this Asahi is for all American workers. Hey, I appreciate what y'all do. Y'all work hard to support yourselves and your families. And old Uncle Bub here in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. I just want y'all to know that I appreciate y'all. Hey, we all depend on each other for, for goods and services, and everybody's important, man. I just want y'all to know that I love and appreciate y'all. 
This Asahi is for you, American worker. Thank you for supporting yourselves and your family and our economy. Oh, wow. Dang. All right. So, this, I tell you what, y'all, this reminds me a whole lot of a Pilsner Urquell. A Pilsner Urquell. Where have I got? I got one right here. That right there is what it reminds me of, a Pilsner Urquell. Got that, got that delicious, now, this is one of my favorite beers, by the way. One of the best beers of all times is a Pilsner Urquell, I believe. I, it's one of my all-time favorite delicious beers. Uh, from Pills and Check. This has a similar flavor. It has that delicious, delicious Pilsner type flavor. And uh, with a, just that hint of bitterness in the finish, man, is just outstanding. This has got it, man. This, this is really good stuff. Mm. Okay, so y'all, if you, if you find some Asahi Super Dry, I, you know, I, I, I get the dry in wines. I, I've had dry wine and you know, I, I can kind of tell that. I can't tell that this is dry. I mean, it's, it's got a crisp, clean finish. I get that. But as far as the dry is concerned, I don't really get the dry. I mean, it doesn't taste any drier than any other beer I've had, I don't think. Um, now, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Uh, I'm just dumb old redneck. But I know it's delicious, I can tell you that much. I mean, it, it, the bubbles are still floating up through there, y'all. Tad gum. It is a delicious brew, and I will be getting this again, that's for sure. Mm. Oh, man, that's good. Uh, mm. ah, boy, that is good stuff right there. All right. So that's Wet Your Whistle Wednesday, y'all. Hey, if y'all like the videos, there's a little beer mug right there. I'm here every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday trying different beers, saluting American worker, letting y'all know that I love and appreciate y'all. Hit like, share, notification bell, blah, blah, all that crap. Leave me a comment below. What do you think about Asahi, if you've tried it? If you haven't tried it, hey, I, I, I recommend it. It is a delicious beer. Very good. All right, y'all, I'll be back tomorrow for a Thursday, Thursday. Got a different beer gonna try for you, so y'all stay tuned. Take care.